guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another Patreon request and it's from Frank Punsica. I think that's how you spell your name. Uh, pronounce your name, sorry. If, if it's wrong, mate, I do apologise. Uh, and his band is The Pretty Reckless and the song is called Hangman. Or The Walls Are Closing In forward slash Hangman. I don't know if it's two songs, one song, and I don't know, but I'm going to listen to it anyway. Uh, I couldn't find an actual official video. And as Frank, you didn't give me a link. I've just picked one that has lyrics on it so we can see. What, you know, it's better than watching just a blank screen with a cover art, isn't it? So, you know, we can actually read what they're saying, even if these like start screaming, you don't know what they're going to say. So I'm looking forward to it, obviously, because it's the Pretty Reckless and they are so fucking cool at making music, even though I get, sometimes I, I get the, the meaning of the songs wrong, but, you know, I made to try and guesswork. Anyway, if you don't like if you don't like my videos, I've got to get everything wrong today. If you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe. If you want to support me on Patreon or any of the social medias, I say that at the fucking end. I say that at the end. If you like the videos, then please hit like and subscribe. It supports me, it supports the channel, and I appreciate it very, very much. Let's get this fucking reaction started before I start messing everything else up. Oh, let's go. This is a pretty reckless, and the walls are closing in forward slash hangman from Frank. Let's go. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. Did she just say, get your shit together? She must have been listening to me. Get your shit together. <laughs> That's fucking ace. <laughs> Telling me to get me shit together because I'm getting everything wrong. There's no light. Oh, okay. Mama, oh. I can't see it all. There's no one left to break this fall. Okay. I was expecting a ballad then. I love the way that was built. Was that in a foreign language that first part then? Because I don't, I didn't catch any words. It sounded like a different, different language that I, <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, at first you're saying like, "Mom, there's no one to catch me and stuff. No one to help me when I fall or something like that." And I think that's probably the the uh, meaning of the song. I'm not sure. Maybe she's got nobody to turn to apart from her mum in this song. But like I say, I th that felt like a foreign language at the beginning. Then I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what she's singing about. <laughs> Dirty bass and guitar. Almost like take comfort in dying. <laughs> That's what I feel like the, the song is. Because, uh, like, obviously, it's called The Walls Are Closing In, and she said, like, finally, I'm seeing Claire and stuff like that. I think maybe she's singing about having a troubled life, and then obviously, um, when they come to hang you, or when you, or you, it, it might be a suicide song, I'm not sure. You know, where someone feels like they feel they, like they 
people start thinking clear, that they get a direction that they want to kill themselves, if you like, or commit suicide, if you like, whatever, however you want to portray it, and they think clear because that's the direction they want to go in, obviously, and end their own life because the the life is always full of turmoil with the mental health. I think they like it's a mental health song, um, and you know, with the walls closing in and stuff, it feels like um, demons and stuff are, are, are like polluting somebody's thoughts and they're sick of it sick of it sick of it and they want to like say end the life and it's obviously it's a sad thing to um sing about or a sad thing to talk about but you know it's a very real problem in the world about people can't control their own thoughts and they feel suicidal you know it's 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 a fucking shame Humans die by the hand of fear, which obviously means, um, you know, you, you, maybe you're living your life in so much fear because of all this stuff and paranoia and stuff that you you just want to end it all because um, you don't want to feel like this anymore. And like I say, it's, it's a massively, massively, massively real problem that needs tackling. Uh, and, you know, everyone's got a different case with it. And so it's, oh, it's such a sad situation. Okay, that could be taken another way, that, because when she said, like, um, when they come to hang you, stand up, you know, spray your neck or whatever it is, um, don't, lo don't, and don't lose control and stuff, that may be a defiance against the uh, suicide, if you like, and I think maybe she's talking to her mother again, because she said about mama in the first part, and her mum's saying, you know, every time you feel like this, don't do it. I mean, she could be talking, is, is her mum uh, alive, or is her, has her mum passed away? Because she could be praying to her mum, and her mum's like, giving the message back, oh, she could actually be talking to a mum. I don't know enough about the Pretty Reckless to know the uh, personal life, if you like. But, I mean, I'm taking it as a, some sort of message from a mum, whether it's whether she's passed or not, I don't know. Uh, but I think it could be a defiance with the, uh, you know, stand up, brace your neck, and don't lose your control, don't don't lose your soul, or whatever it is she said. Because, you know, and that which means, obviously, don't kill yourself try and work through this that's what i think that might stand for there's, there's, there's there could be it could be taken either way this song Okay, obviously, now the analogy is, like like when you live, you see the sun, etc., and that's the light in your life. And now when you die, they say you see a light at the end of your journey, don't they? And I think she's alluding to that within this song. And I think it's this is just the facts of life sort of thing. Okay. 
so <laughs> a bit depressing. She's uh, just describing exactly what happens when you die. You decompose and you, everything's heavy and you fucking hell. You know, it's wow. This is <laughs> it's one of them songs, isn't it? Definitely a foreign language that. Oh, that was a really, really good song musically. It's a very, very deep, dark, and um, very, very um, sad message, if you like. Of the song, I'm going to check out the song facts and see what she's actually thinking when she wrote this song, or whoever wrote the song in the band. Right, okay. So, well, I cannot find a meaning of this song. If so, if somebody knows the song meaning, then please send it me into the comments below, and I'll also tell me what you think of the song as well, etc. Um, I'll try to get through the end of this song, this reaction, without making any more mistakes. Anyway, if you uh, if you like videos, then please like and subscribe. Want to support me on Patreon or any of the social medias, and the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I shall see you on the next one.